Well, hi everybody, happy Wednesday. My name is Bob Carlton and I lead an organization called multiplicationguru.com where uh, I'm helping tribes, denominations, and networks make more disciples, develop more leaders, and plant more churches. Uh, I have the privilege of working with Luminex over the next year or so, helping to figure out what's the next step for Luminex and the region and even the denomination over, uh, over the next season of ministry. So what does that look like? And just super privileged to be here. And, you know, I talk to a lot of people around the country uh, about leadership development. Dear friend of mine really is the leadership development guru. His name is Mac Lake, and there's, there's been a lot of great things that he's taught me, but one of the big things that he taught me uh, about developing leaders is how easy it is to mess up training. Most of the ways that we train leaders right now are very one-dimensional. In fact, right now, I am speaking to you in a very informational way. You're watching and you're listening to me present information to you. This is not necessarily transformational, it's informational learning, right? So what I wanna share with you right now is what does it actually take to create a transformational training environment? And it's much simpler than you might think. Here's an example. Uh, as you can tell, I am follically challenged, right? So I think about hair a lot. If I wanted to train you how to French braid someone's hair, uh, I could actually do it. Even though I don't have hair, I could, I could do this. I could pull up a YouTube video. Uh, I could actually uh, get one of those Barbie doll dummy things you might see at a cosmetology school, and I could set it down in front of us right now, and I could demonstrate how to French braid hair, and you could watch, right? Um, but that's very informational. It's part of the process, but it's very informational. So, uh, so I could give you knowledge by demonstrating. So we'll talk about knowledge here for a second. Knowledge is when you take in information. Now, if I really wanted to help you understand how to French braid hair, I would take it beyond knowledge and I would actually figure out a way to give you some sort of hands-on experience. So what I might do is I might unravel the French braid, turn the mannequin around and push it towards you and say, all right, now you do it, all right? So I give you some sort of experience. Okay, let's be honest with ourselves. Most churches, most schools, most classes, seminaries, focus almost all of their time and energy in this quadrant, simply on the knowledge base. Our chairs are set up in rows and we face someone giving a presentation. Simply by adding some experience, some hands-on practical time with the information can be revolutionary. But I want to tell you, you can take it one step further by adding coaching. Here's what that looks like. I've demonstrated how to French braid hair. I've unraveled it. I turn the mannequin. I push it to you. Now you demonstrate what you learned by French braiding hair. Now, if that's where we left it, it would be okay. But what if I were to give you some good feedback? What if I were to say, hey, you know, I, I told you to twist it this way, but I noticed you twisted it with your left hand this way, and this is the result of that. If I gave you some constructive feedback, we could take the information, the knowledge, and your experience, combine it with coaching, and we could actually create a transformational training environment. Now, with all of the technology that we have, with all of the videos online, Actually coming up with ways to train people in specific skills is actually very easy. Even somebody who is as bald as can be could teach you how to French braid hair. So when you are creating training for your leaders, your volunteers, I want to encourage you to don't just give them a video. Don't just give them a book to read. Help create a transformational training environment. You can do it and I know you can.